What's going on guys, Eric740T with Eric's RC channel. Um, today I'm just going to be soldering on the Andor 30 amp, uh, 30 amp ESCs and basically all we're going to be doing is soldering them onto the PCB in this video. Um, they're a bit long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the power leads long and I'll just curl them or something under here and probably end up mounting it underneath like this and then I'm gonna have to later on trim these back so I can get it to be nice and even. These wires are a bit long coming out of the motors, but um alright, so let's get started. So basically run them up through the hole down here underneath the arm and solder them onto the two points there. Pretty simple. Uh, they're already they came tinned the wires came tinned on the end of the uh, on the end of all of them actually And I'll have to put some bullet connectors on here, or I might just solder them straight to the uh, Straight to this, but I don't know the motor orientation yet and which wires will make it reverse or anything like that So I'm not gonna hard solder these onto here yet but Let's go ahead and get started with this um, Just gonna Heat up my gas soldering iron and these are the Andor 30 amp ESCs with the 5 volt um, BEC 3 amp 5 volt uh, they're fairly compact they came pre tinned on both sides um, fairly lightweight too so we'll give these a go I've never used them before but um, they are Simon K flashed so we'll see how that goes Give me a minute to heat up my iron here. All right, just gonna get a little solder on here. Basically, all we're gonna do is get these straight onto there. If they'll go. Obviously, going to need a little clamp here. So I can And you want to make sure it's soldered all the way through. You don't want a cold joint. Alright, got that one. Once my iron heats up a little more, it'll get a little quicker here. And again, this video is just covering um, soldering these onto the board, which is fairly simple. those on. Um, as you can see there's a, well I don't know if you can see, but there's a negative and a plus on each one of these so you, so you won't get them backwards. Okay, so what I'm basically, we're going to do this on all of them, leave them hanging so I can uh, figure out what to do with the, the wires later. And I'm probably going to push them up through there. Well, maybe not. We'll see. 
might push them on through like this. So I have more room for the motor, but we'll see. We'll just leave them like this for now. Um, got a nice, couple of nice solid joints there. to the next one and the video is going to be a little redundant guys so hopefully you can see everything okay I think so and they are pretty tin so you don't need to worry about tin because again it looks like it's all the way through you're pretty solid so all right so we got negative plus like this helps a little clamp if you can get it in there If you guys can see this, okay. okay. All right. Make sure everything's right. We got plus negative. Good to go there. Swing it on around. So if you guys are using the same parts, um, these and or were ER ESCs um, from Amazon are new to me, so um, it's kind of an experiment. They are Simon K, and I haven't used Simon K before. I've always used um, Hobby King. I really like the Hobby King, the old school blue ones. The 30 amps, they were really, really good ESCs. Um, they were not Simon K, but uh, they worked really well. I liked them. A bunch. This one's going to be a little awkward. Okay. It's getting a little better now that my iron's getting hot. Make sure you don't reverse polarity on these guys. It's hard to work with when you got fat fingers. And that's what you want to do is you just want to get it melded together. And I have the video already up of um, tinning these pads beforehand. You want it really, uh, really melded together, a nice solid, um, solid connection. That's not going to come loose. You don't want a cold solder joint where it's not really fully melted through both um, the wires and the 
the pads on the PCB because then you're going to get connection issues, they can break off, all kind of things like that. So I've been soldering for since I was a kid. I'm what? I'm 35 now. I've been soldering stuff since I was probably like 10, 9 or 10. Used to always use electric irons, but I prefer the I prefer the uh, gas now. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see at the same time, so this is a uh, somewhat challenging. Yeah, I really like the gas. This gas iron, um, it's from Radio Shack, but it's I really like it. It heats up. You can get it just so much heat out of it, which is normally well. This one's kind of old, so I might have to replace it soon. But normally, you can get that much heat. You can get it done really quick without overheating your PCB board or anything. And that one looks good. But yeah, it's not acting quite like. Normal. Might even need a new iron soon. Oh. Okay. Again, guys, check your polarities. Don't rush it and get too quick with it there. Ah. Oh no, I damaged my wire a little bit. That's okay, it's not going to be touching anything. Oops. I'll put a little dab of hot glue there. I accidentally cut the sheathing on the, um, the negative wire right there when I was pulling this clip out. a little cold. Hope you guys can see. I was trying um, for a couple of videos there. I was trying to use the uh, the Canon 7D that I had recently got, um, but I think this Canon Vixia that I have seems to be much better for video, at least so far. Um, unless something's completely still and you don't need to refocus or let it autofocus, then I guess the 7D would be a little bit better for video quality, but as far as multi-purpose and um, autofocus and moving targets and stuff like that, the, uh, the Vixia seems pretty far superior. Let me make sure if that one's pretty solid. Yeah, that's solid. Alright, one more. Oh, I meant to do a video of that too. Um, 
the Canon 7D that I got. My dad's a big, uh, big photography guy, and he um, he has all kind of. He got the 7D Mark II, and he also has the 5D Canon 5D. Um, so he gave me his um, his 7D that he wasn't using anymore, which is really cool. I think it's a it takes phenomenal pictures. It's unbelievable. I really like the camera. Um, I was hoping to get a little more out of it for video stuff, video quality. But, um, I mean, it's okay for that. And again, if it's got really, if you got good lighting and it's um, not moving or something up close or something still, it's awesome for video. If it's something that's moving around or like if I was filming a quadcopter like say the, or the hexacopter like this flying around I'd have a difficult time keeping the focus it's really the, the focus um, and it doesn't work as well in low light as this Vixia this is the HMF uh, 41 I'm sorry I'm talking about camera stuff but we're just kind of doing redundant soldering here so might as well get onto that subject so this is being filmed with the Vixia HMF 41. So here's the last uh, last joint we'll be doing here. Ugh. damage any more wires. Okay, so got the six ESC soldered up to the uh, PCB board. Um, this video will be continued at another date. Basically this is all I'm going to do right now with the ESCs because well because I'm gonna have to figure out placement on these where I'm gonna put them probably back here I might have to cut some cut some wires and uh, and of course I got to put the bullet connectors on here too. I don't want to hard solder them. I really would. That's my my favorite thing to do. Except um, if I do that and then I go to set it up with like uh, the APM 2.6 or I'm going to program these ESCs, um, they could be reversed the motor's in the wrong direction, so I don't want to hard solder them. I want to be able to have uh, the bullets so I can change them real quick if I want to, and then when I'm done with that, I'll, all I'll do is I'll put a heat shrink over over the bullets to make sure they don't move. But I'm going to have to shorten these wires up, I think, about to here. And there'll be a part two of the uh, ESCs. Alright, guys. Um... So I don't know what part of the build this is, but uh, ESC is onto the PCB. We have the uh, Andor 30 amps. Uh, the motors are mounted. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, next, I will be cutting these and putting bullet connectors. I may just add it to this video, so I'll see. All right, guys, take care, and uh, I'll see you around.